the dog doing? Hello and good evening. My name is Shadow. Welcome to What the Duck. We're going to be talking about the Mandela Effect. What do you remember? What is actually correct? Nobody knows. But let's get this thing started. One second here. All right. Yay. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about uh, stuff that you can't remember and you thought it was the other way around. <laughs> That's It's a little thing called the Mandela Effect. Okay, so do we know where we get the Mandela Effect from? So, I have heard that it started with the supposed death of Nelson Mandela. That is correct. Ten points for the lady. Yay! <laughs> it's, uh, so a lot of people remember him dying in prison. He was in prison. He was a political prisoner. They remember him dying in prison in the 80s. Mm -hmm. But he's not. He's actually the president of whatever he is. President of in a country that's not here. And <laughs> it's not that, here. <laughs> that was the first day of the Mandela Effect. The first recognized mass hallucination that yes. is the Mandela Effect. But Correct. there is a theory that is going around that the Hadron Collider, when it fired up in 2008, literally destroyed our our earth and slid us into an alternate reality or a, uh, another universe mm -hmm. and it was fired up in 2008 that's about the time all this stuff really started like firing up but i mean mm -hmm. we'll never know obviously we'll never actually know <laughs> yeah yeah that is very true we can trust our government I, I'm just kidding. I love you. Um, <laughs> but it was fired up in 2008. I think it was like September that year. Mm -hmm. uh, um, actually. Yep, 10th of yeah, September, uh, 2008. So, yeah. So, thoughts, questions, bubbles. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> Just another historical example of it. Henry the Eighth. People remember his painting having him eating a turkey leg, which has which there was no such painting ever existed. Mm -hmm. But that that's the other thing. They apparently Mona Lisa had more. Uh, a lot of people remember her having more of a distinct smile. I just remember yep. the little. That's all I remember. That's what I remember as well. So as far as I can remember, even first seeing the Mona Lisa back in gosh, elementary school, it had just the ever so slightest smile on her face. And that was it. There's no big, like, you know, shining smile from ear to ear or nothing like that. It's just the slight smile. That's what I remember as well. The biggest thing with the Mandela effect isn't so much that, you know, I mean... I mean, yeah, it's coined after Nelson Mandela. But um, mm -hmm. the biggest thing is that it's not just like one or two people. They're like, oh, I remember it this way. And people are like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And it's debating. You're, li you're talking literally thousands, if not tens or even hundreds of thousands of people or hundreds of thousands of people or millions of people having the same memory. Exactly. But, no, but nothing, you know, it's like and it's a, a lot of them have the same. Yeah. A mass false memory that well, people seem to remember a certain thing, but it ends up being different, supposedly. But, but how? Do, and the irony <laughs> is, they might not all be from the same area or even the same country. That's so exactly. You can't, it to, you can't even attribute it to localization of like current mm -hmm. weather or like some regional happening. thing. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. was I was just going to say that 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 very thing because you know in a small town. 
to say early 90s people talked oh yeah bigfoot living up in the hills you know whatever mm -hmm. but yeah. when you talk about people that all across the world remember certain events mm -hmm. the the same as you do i i yeah it, it's more than a mass hallucin hallucinogen mm -hmm. Another thing would be the location of is to play into your, or not play into your thing. That's actually a wrong wording for it. But to go on about like you're saying how like the super collider blew up the Earth and we we're on that alternate thing. It might also kind of explain the location in New Zealand where most people remember it being the north, the northwest island versus the southeast island. Mm -hmm. Now, now wait a minute. What? <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a lot of people that, including people that live in New Zealand, that believe that remember. Um, it was a north. It used to be a northeast island, and now somehow it's a south uh, or northwest island. But now it's a southeast island. So it's geographically in a different spot now. Yo, what the. Fuck. Seriously, like, look at this. No, no. What the duck? What the <laughs> duck? But that is not, that is not right. That used... I need to lay down. <laughs> that is not right. You can't do stuff. Yeah, hey, it I, is, uh... That's yeah. the thing about the Mandela effect. I mean, there's mm -hmm. people, and it's not just like a small amount like a little bit of people that you could just play it off of them either just being batshit crazy or mm -hmm. something happened in that area where like one person started thinking and then then everybody started thinking it mm -hmm. now let me now we're all pretty aged here i mean i'm not saying that we're all old but you know <laughs> speak for yourself we, i'm kidding we, we, we all got a few we all got a few levels under our belt here you know we're, we're gamers you know we we climbed some levels here <laughs> gain that xp but, yeah but you remember back in the day right when you were kids remember the oscar meyer song my fr my balloon or you know my baloney has a my first baloney name. has a first name. It's so S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. I love to eat it every day. And if you ask me why, I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Say that again. <laughs> That's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. Say that again, Jordan. The whole thing. J it, yeah. Just, no, just spill it. Spill it out. Yeah. Just uh, re-sing it again. How you remember it. Don't think about it. Just sing. <laughs> my baloney has a first name. It's O S C A R. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y E R. It's E Y E R. Yep. It's M -E -Y -E -R? Never -E -R? Yeah. It's never been spelled with an A. Oh my Somehow goodness. Wow. Everybody. That's my point exactly. Somehow everybody remembers singing it with an A. Uh -huh. It's always been That's Oscar it. Mayer. Or oh my gosh! So uh, let me let me blow your minds with one that I found. And since we're all video game people, and I know that every one of us here in this has played Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Five, Skyrim. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yes, yes, we have. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody, <time. laughs> many people remember the. I used to be a veteran until I took an arrow to the knee, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That it, that never happened. It was arrow oh, in crap. arrows. No arrow, arrow in the knee. No, it was I, to the knee. It I, was to the knee. That's what I remember. Oh my goodness! So my biggest one, or one of my biggest ones, and I know that there are many, many, many Star Wars fans out there is the line that everybody quotes. Luke, I am your father. Supposedly did not ever happen. Yep, I can tell you what it was. I've got it pulled up. Here. No, I am your father. I think is what it was correct. It what it was actually, but you can make sure to double check. Yep, mm -hmm. it says, no, I am your father is the correct line. It, it, no, uh, uh, and the, uh, Close well, my mind. Mm -mm. The, there's a yeah. lot of these. Um, does anybody remember, uh, 
uh, oh my god, a risky business with Tom Cruise. Early, early film. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. risky business. Okay, he slides. It has been years since I watched it, but yes. <laughs> he, he, he slides out in nothing but like a button up and some a whitey tidies holding like, I think it's like a candlestick and he's singing, right? Yeah. I remember mm -hmm. him sliding out. He's got dark sunglasses on, a uh, button up dress, a uh, button up shirt with a uh, whitey tidy socks and singing. Well, apparently yeah. he does not have sunglasses on. Oh, speaking of sunglasses, anybody remember the old Raisin Bran cereal it, they, with the sun that moment, on yes. the box? Yes. Did it have sunglasses it on? Did. It did. I remember it eating did. it. Supposedly it does not. If you look it up, there you're <laughs> not very bound to find a picture of the sun with sunglasses on. So I think... I think um, there's one about the Flintstones. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's it's Flint Stones with two T's instead of Flynn <laughs> Stones. I remember Flynn Stones without the extra T. Yeah. Another mm. good one is uh, the Monopoly guy. No. Oh, Who yeah. remembers the Monopoly guy having a monocle I do. on his eye? The, the thing that covers his eye. Everybody on the planet has to remember mm -hmm. the dude with the monocle. <laughs> what? One of the biggest things that I was just telling Adam this the other day is you you think of, well, I think of uh, Ace Ventura when nature calls. He goes in and they're at this this mansion having a party and this guy comes, waltz again with his wife, date, whatever she is. And he looks like the Monopoly guy. And the scene plays out that, you know, you must be the Monopoly guy. And it, what I remember is Ace pulling, I, I think it was a, a, a watch or something out of this guy's pocket and holding it up in front of his eye like the monocle. And I'm like, okay, so that's not just me thinking this. Everybody on the planet Earth probably remembers the Monopoly guy with a monocle. What? So now they're saying it. he doesn't have one. And that blows my mind. Well, what about... <laughs> Ed McMahon in the Publishers Clearinghouse. That's the biggest oh, one. Oh my goodness! Um, it, it's it's ridiculous because I remember watching those commercials at my grandmother's, mm -hmm. and it had Ed McMahon. I I would I have bet you all the money in the world. Mm -hmm. I vividly vividly remember Ed McMahon coming up knocking on people's doors and they'd open it up and they'd be, you know, all dressed up like he was, they were prepared for him to arrive. And he would have like this camera crew around him, this giant check says publisher's clearing house. And like somebody's holding a big thing of balloons and just the whole ordeal. And it was publisher's clearing house. Yep. Supposedly that never happened either. They say that he's with, or was with, um, Oh gosh. What was it? Um, Oh my goodness, I can't think of it right now. Um, anyways, another one that was kind of the same thing, but not Publishers Clearinghouse. So, but I don't know. So um, it's just crazy to me. There's a couple movies that I, I'm 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 watching, and some I uh, uh like Lucy. Uh, I love Lucy, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. everybody knows Ricky Ricardo. He would come in and uh, sh he would catch her doing something, and he would say, "Lucy, you have to play in the door." Mm -hmm. Well, he actually never said that. It was explain that if you can, Lucy. Oh crap! Oh, much I love Lucy growing up all the time. And this oh, is one you that you said you had some explaining to do. <laughs> This one's really messed me up. Do you guys remember Neil Armstrong? Mm-hmm. Man yeah. that landed on the moon. Yes. Walked on the moon. So, apparently he died in August of 2012? Uh, I don't I remember don't, that. I don't remember. That's interesting. Wait, he's dead? Yeah. <laughs> 
that's that's the thing it's 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 but wait creepy. a minute we've seen i've seen tiktok videos and probably youtube videos and stuff where people are going up and um basically trying to ask him questions about landing on the moon and he's throwing a fit over it and all the other guys that landed on the moon do the same thing and that's for another story but that's been more recent they're very I say this bit older gentlemen probably in their 70s 80s however old they are now but not dead <laughs> very well and walking around actually right. running away from the publicity and all that stuff so august 25th 2012 he died in cincinnati ohio apparently i, di I didn't mm -hmm. know that about that uh, that that blows my mind you know it it's um, it's always something like just just everybody remembers it right so you got mm -hmm. like uh pikachu's tail I remember it having a black tip. Apparently, it does not have a black tip. It has, it's just solid yellow. I remember a black tip as well. I didn't get really into Pokemon, but I do remember Pikachu having a black tip on his tail. Or her tail. Their tail. I don't know. Their tail. <laughs> its tail. I mean, you know, that's the same thing with Sh Thin Bad Shazam. Oh, God. Oh, I'm my goodness. <laughs> I mean, people oh, swear <laughs> that Sinbad was making a, had a movie called Shazam. Mm -hmm. Hell, I remember it. Hell, I remember commercials for this movie. Thank you, I but do so, too. But somehow it, he never did it and it doesn't exist, regardless of millions of people actually remembering mm -hmm. it. Funny thing is, just recently, like within the past couple of weeks, I saw a video popped up on, I think it was TikTok, and uh, this guy goes into a safe in his house and he pulls out a copy of Sinbad's Shazam from the safe and was like, oh, look, here, it's right here. You know, I've had it since the what 90s, whatever it was filmed and stuff. And I'm sitting here going, is this doctored? I, I don't really know. <laughs> like, is this for real? So everybody remembers that. A lot of people think like, the rise, like the rise in popularity of the internet, is the cause for the the Mandela effect. You got mm -hmm. people like a lot of like false information gets combined with actual information, mm -hmm. but it starts blending in to make it real information. Because I mean, if you're gonna lie, I mean every lie has a spark of truth in it. Regardless, mm -hmm. I mean a total fabricated lie would never be believed without some truth into it. Mm -hmm. Um. But the thing is, a lot of people have had these beliefs in thinking that stuff happened way before the internet even exists. Oh, the internet today as people can use it. I mean, the internet mm -hmm. has been around a lot longer than people have had access to it. But Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Do you guys remember is, uh, Curious George having a tail? Yes. <laughs> I do, too. Thank you. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So the Berenstein Bears. That one I don't it's remember. Not... I I had a book from the Berenstein Bears. It was with an E, not an A. But now they're saying it was an A the whole time. Ah, uh, that just blows my mind. Anyways, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to uh, to interrupt. Okay. So uh, <sighs> I am it's looking. Just a mess. I am looking here, and there is actually a Mandela effect that concerns the amount of states that you, the United States have. I, I didn't know this one, but apparently people That's funny. think that it's 51 or 52. Well, if you, huh. count, Puerto, if you count Puerto Rico is one is a, a state, I don't know. It's really weird because the way Puerto Rico it was... I think that might one might be more attributed to the way history was taught in school. Some people mm -hmm. were taught that Puerto Rico is technically considered part of um, the United States, along with the U.S. along with the U.S. slash Virgin Islands, as they like to call it. So it hmm. kind of incorporates Virgin Islands into the United States when it's actually not a state. That's a U.S. territory, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know. I, There's it's just so many things that really can just 
blow your mind if you think about it. It's just it's just crazy. Well, so let's let's talk about the opposite thing, right? Let's why would this happen? So mm -hmm. why would we not notice a shift in reality? Let's say the Hedron Collider did explode and send us into a different universe, a different what do you want to call it? <laughs> um, you know, it it's can it be proven? I don't know. Well, what there's what, what if we're what if uh the uh the glitchiness effect that people are experiencing the whole we live in a simulation thing is mm -hmm. is the result of that maybe it's still glitching in and out i i don't yeah, know kind of like glitches in the, kind of like glitches in the matrix where stuff is trying to self-correct itself yeah but yeah that's a good point it's been a long time since i've seen the matrix too but i i'd never thought of that that is uh here's that's a really one, good point here's one that even <clears throat> Here's one I actually wanted to bring up. Um, it even one. It, it's so prevalent in the Mandela effect that not only did it stump the biggest Star Wars fans, actually <clears throat> Lucas Arts that makes like the people like when they outsource like all their costume making and stuff. Mm -hmm. No one caught onto it that um, <clears throat> R2, or C3PO has a silver leg and he's not pure gold. Oh, yeah. I heard that recently too. I uh, thought he was pure gold. It's so bad that it, it even stumped the hardest Star Wars fans. And even the people that make the costumes and stuff for, like, you know, art to, like the licensed people that do, like, the costumes and stuff for it got mm -hmm. it wrong, too. Apparently, he's always had a silver leg. And oh everyone would think it was gold. <laughs> to the fact That's that they've been making, they've Oh, been my making, goodness. Uh, they've been making costumes wrong for literal decades. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Speaking of leg problems, if you have any ailments, visit Pop Shop's Medical Service, located behind Walmart on 5th Street. Myself, I was an adventurer once. Then I took an arrow to the knee. Pop was able to get the arrow out and kind of patch me up. Now I'm able to lean on this wooden pole and ask travelers for golden coins and tell my story thanks pop back to our regular scheduled show oh my goodness so it's just just crazy so that right there pre presents a, a a good statement on that it's not just oh no you thought about it wrong and so did you and so did you know a million other people Mm -hmm. You're talking about stuff that's in movies, songs, I, I mean, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Just like a Smooth Criminal. Remember that one? Uh, you've been hit by, you've been struck by, apparently. A Smooth Criminal. It, that never happened. Yeah. So. I don't know about that. I, I don't know. I, I have heard that song so many times yep. and I, even watched I the movie. remember it being that being I, saying smooth criminal yep i don't uh, know let me see if i can find the the actual effect for it it's just it's crazy there's so many different ones we haven't even covered a fraction of them there's so so many well, memories that people think are completely different and I, I mean, oh my I this is goodness there's another one that just popped up that I clearly remember so Scooby Doo the show Scooby Doo the character Shaggy back in the animated uh, original version Shaggy had an Adam's apple that would bounce up and down like when he swallowed or something along those lines when yep. he was like <gasps> Gulp. He doesn't have an Adam's apple now. Wait, what? I know. I I just found that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I, I clearly remember that. Well, I 
I know this is going to be a, a subject for another time, but like what Adam was saying with um, the whole um, simulation theory, mm -hmm. researchers now, I mean, because obviously, you know, Microsoft, uh, micro, not Microsoft, Microsoft, <laughs> yeah, Microsoft gets more powerful. Yeah, that's a whole, that's a whole topic in itself. Um, yeah. um, but no, there was like, Researchers, I have to find it again. I had a bookmark, but somehow I lost my bookmark. Whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they've actually been able to zoom in far enough where they actually found error. They said that they found error correcting code, like computer code, in molecules. Oh. What? Yeah. Wait. Um, That's insane. Yeah, I've never heard that. That is crazy. It, they actually found it. Um, that's why I'm trying to find it right now. Um, oh my goodness. I mean, scientists have actually played around the theory using DNA for computer code. They actually have a scientist mm -hmm. that wrote Hello World and Bacterial DNA. Oh, <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah. Hmm. I was that's some interesting it. stuff. This is crazy. Wow. So, yeah, you, you, so, I mean, I'm not saying that, like, oh, simulation theory is a thing. I mean, you could, if you try hard enough, you can tie anything to anything. Mm -hmm. it's, one, Absolutely. It's, one, it's one plausible cause to the Mandela effect. Mm -hmm. The other thing, is like um, Adam said there, was the super collider turning on and... You know, us getting pulled into an alternate reality, uh, alternate universe, because our universe mm -hmm. went boomy. Um, yeah, that could be another topic for another thing, especially like when they started when they started playing around with the super collider, and there mm -hmm. people were starting to see like weird like portal things opening over the uh, mm -hmm. site that it's at, and all that stuff. So, yep. there's many different things. A lot of people believe that the rise of the internet um, and everyone being able to just have everything is causing a lot of information like you know people that are just doing art being crossed with actual things and mm -hmm. it's not that people are lying it's just that this information has gotten so distorted that people just take whatever it is now is how it was when it wasn't <laughs> yeah yeah but that's a lot of reach to be looking in the same spot as millions of other people now, like, I don't know. I, I I feel like I remember, and I also have a lot of deja vu also that, like, I've, you know, been here, been mm -hmm. there, certain places. But mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, you know, Stephen Hawking, uh, was it Stephen Hawkins said that mm -hmm. when um, they turn on the collider and they discover the God particle that our world was going to end? Mm -hmm. Maybe it did. Maybe, maybe it did. Maybe it did it so fast that nobody realized it. Yeah, but an explosion of that magnitude, right? You wouldn't mm -hmm. even, you would be here one minute and gone the next. You wouldn't mm -hmm. notice Absolutely. Anything. So. Mm -hmm. Well, just to give you an example, it takes your brain something like fifth of a second to recognize, uh, to realize that you're dead. Mm -hmm. So anything that Happened. Wow! If, uh, anything that happened—that's why people that get shot and killed don't realize they died. Um, wow! I never knew that. That's it, crazy. It takes longer for your brain to realize it's dead before. So anything that happened under a fifth of a second, mm -hmm. your brain doesn't register the fact. Hmm. Now I'm wondering how quickly. That's why. Pain, that's, why that's why pain and like. If you burn your hand or if you stab yourself, you don't really notice it until you actually look at it. Uh -huh. Your body, like, brings it to your thing, like, hey, I did something dumb here. Like, I chopped my <laughs> hand off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, so which I'm is also why they have saws now that can, if it detect like, a flick. They have saws now that are so accurate in that, uh -huh. that people don't do things like that, that... <laughs> If you brush, like, skin right up against it, it will actually turn off so fast it'll never break the skin. Wow. That's, how, that's how fast that's so kill cool. switches on those things. Dang. 
I may have to invest in one of those if I get back into woodworking. <laughs> Anyways, um, so there was. So a... I'm wondering when. Go ahead, Adam. Well, I'm about to go down a whole other rabbit hole. So. Well, mine was back to the CERN, the Had Hadron Collider. I'm wondering if something like if this explosion actually did happen. How fast did it happen? Uh, don't know. Continue. Uh, anyways, go ahead. Go ahead. That was just my one thought. <laughs> you know. So. Well, remember the Big Bang theory happened within less than a fraction of a second. Mm -hmm. Granted, the effects radiated out, radiated out through the um, universe, mm -hmm. but it expanded at a rate of 41.4 miles per second. Wow. That's insane. Uh -huh. mm -mm -mm. Absolutely insane. But the thing is, is it, the Big Bang wasn't a bang at all. Um, it didn't explode. <laughs> like it, it, people think, like this it was like it was like this. They think that the Big Bang theory is like, I mean, outside the show, but that's a whole mm -hmm. thing itself. Um, <laughs> I love like the Big Bang theory. They, by the way, they <laughs> it's such a good they, show. They think the Big Bang theory is. Like this big explode, like the world, like the universe exploded, and then all of a sudden there were stars and galaxies yeah. and things like that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. Yeah. It was just a vast expansion of extremely condensed material. All it did was just <laughs> spread out over the course of billions of years. Okay. It's, it, you know. It's That's like a fart in the car. It, start, it starts in the seat and moves its way on out. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why they tell us our batteries don't explode. They rapidly expand. <laughs> exactly. It's just spread across everywhere and, you know, hope you don't get fried along the way. <laughs> so, one of the kids mm -hmm. said, uh, uh, so Stephen Hawkins said that physics would be more Interesting if Higgs Boston hadn't been found. Uh, physics would have been far more interesting if scientists had been unable to find the Higgs bu uh, bassoon at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN, according to Stephen Hawkins. But there was a kid. He was like supposed to be like the uh, next prodigy, like next Einstein, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. he came out and said it opened a portal and then we died and we just mm -hmm. slid into another reality. You're talking about Mr. Max Laughlin. Yes, I am. Yep. I think he was, what, 16 when he first came about. And this was back in, well, he disappeared in 2018. So it was prior to 2018 when he came out and was talking about just the Hedron Collider and, and I, this kid was a genius. Um, yeah. They just disappeared. Fell off the face of the earth. So, but where did he go? <laughs> you know, I'm actually all for this. You know, that'd be cool. Alternate reality. We had a bit, uh, you know, they turned on the Hedron Collider. We blew up. We're in the alternate universe. We at least mm -hmm. did one that where Biden wasn't president. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> what the dog oh doing? Thing? What the dog doing? Um, well, no, he was 14. My apologies. He was 14, but a genius. My so. thing is, though, is, is why did we get sent to the reality where, like, you know, the, the Monopoly guy lost his glass? Why couldn't we send where we could, you know, like fly or some shit, you know? Right? Mm hmm. So absolutely, well, a lot of that comes down to another theory where anytime you make it, and anytime that you make a decision, the whole mm -hmm. alternate reality thing is that anytime you make it a decision, whether to go left, right, do I marry this person, mm -hmm. or this person, do I eat notches today, you know, whatever, yeah. that all that all other 
probabilities are also explored. Mm-hmm. Yep. So in another universe, you ate nachos. At one universe, mm-hmm. you didn't eat nachos. In another universe, you had quesadillas, whatever, you know. <laughs> um, Isn't that like... Like the butterfly effect or something. Exactly. It's the um, butterfly effect. Yeah. So the chances are that we in their in their theory that these universes run basically on different frequencies. Mm-hmm. Almost kind of like your either car radio or different light waves where if you kind of shifted a light mm-hmm. Slightly this way. Yeah. Um, I'd have to look it back up. That you would be it's... technically at a phase with our reality into another mm-hmm. reality, and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. It's the idea that small things can have nonlinear impacts on a complex system. Exactly. It basically, sums it up. Yeah. Yeah, but. Yeah. So, if that's the case, that would blow the string theory completely out of the water because the string theory states that there's only 12 other universes based on dark matter, antimatter, and crap like that. So, if if it is based on multiple choices, how many choices do you make in a day, right? So, multiply that by, no yeah, 7.5 mm-hmm. billion people. Mm-hmm. That is a lot. Of universe. How can those 7.5 billion people have, well, if we're going back to the Mandela effect, those 7.5 billion people have a memory that they remember, and then all of a sudden, it's just different. It's not that, though. It, it's it, it, it's some part of the, the population, and then the other parts remember something completely different. So... Mm-hmm. Did we slide into other people's body? Did we just slide in? Were we even in this universe before? You know, that goes down a completely different rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. It's like, I mean, we're <laughs> we we're, we're talking about a whole lot of stuff right now, and, and Mandela effect is just just the beginning to all of this stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I mean, you have yeah, you have people that are saying. Uh, the more people uh, like quantum mechanics and quantum computing and things like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Where, people, where, where physicists, literally the smartest people on the planet are saying, well, if you take away like time where they're trying to say, well, they did a theory. Well, what if time didn't exist? Mm-hmm. Well, if time does because you know how we measure time, like, you know, speed of light, things like that. Well, mm-hmm. they took time because time is something more man-made created. That's, more of like how we depict something from beginning to middle to end because that's the way mm-hmm. our, our brains work. Mm-hmm. So like we, like we perceive time as like the start of the show when we pre- when we went live and started talking to all you fine folks out there in internet. Oh, you beautiful land. people! <laughs> yes, to the time mm-hmm. where we end the show, we consider this a point in time, and these are the things that happen within that time frame. That's how mm-hmm. our brains actually car- and compartmentalize things, and mm-hmm. that's how memory is stored. Mm-hmm. Well, time might not actually exist, but if you take time out of the equation, like a lot of things from like mm-hmm. Einstein and like theory of relativity and mm-hmm other things actually start making more sense and are actually a lot more plausible and the science behind it makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes me think of Star Trek. How they basically just go out, they they don't care about time, they don't care about money. It's just well now they go explore they were military they were military based whether people like to admit that or not. You don't make massive warships and flagships if you're not military. So they Mm -hmm. they were absolutely but they were time-based. Yeah, right? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but, it, yeah, it, they, they were, they were time-based, right? But, mm-hmm. so, it goes back to the relativity theory, right? So, the closer that you travel to the speed of light, the slower mm-hmm. time slows down for you. It's, yes. It, it's really weird. And with Einstein and Rosenberg, the, the bridge... I mean, mm-hmm. anything's possible. I mean, it's all mm-hmm. relative, as as mm-hmm. that dude would say. Anything's possible if you just believe. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. 
Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of things that will really blow your mind if you sit down and delve wait, into the subject. People, mm -hmm. I know it sounds, and guys, I know it sounds like we've went off the rails and we're just talking about completely different things. Nope. Um, <laughs> the the thing is, it, the thing is, it's not one thing as a sum of everything. Like mm -hmm. the Mandela effect is just part of people having false memories or people mm -hmm. miss or not saying people have false memories people say it has false it false memories i mean honestly mm -hmm. we can't take the mandela effect as something that is completely true this is how it is this is what it is it's possible that with the advent of internet and everything that people just really do misremember just see this stuff so much and everything gets so misconstrued that people are just misremembering th true things with false things and you know mm -hmm. the, the mind is the easiest thing to trick mm -hmm. the closer that the closer that you're in on something the easier it is to get fooled by something Yes. That's why people. That's why they always say stand back and look at stuff objectively. Mm -hmm. However, look if you take all the, mm -hmm. yeah, if you take all these different things that we've been talking about and put them together, it starts making other things make a lot more sense. Like you, mm -hmm. you get, like scientists is about uh, science scientists. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's uh, no amount of science is gonna be able to fix my inability to talk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, um, you know, that's why scientists, yeah, they might not be able to one theory like, oh, well, you know, we can't go faster than the speed of light mm -hmm. because the laws of physics prevent that. But if you take into account this and do X, Y, Z, like NASA has proved, um, let's see, NASA warp bubble. No. It, granted, it was microscopic, but NASA has actually implemented their first warp bubble where they can actually cl go faster than the speed of light. Oh, wow. Well, technically, we're technically, quote unquote, nothing is able to go classer than faster, classer. See, like <laughs> I said, no amount of science can fix my talking. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, was a, it, it was a it was a DARPA funded research experiment that they accident and they actually accidentally figured out how to tr travel faster than the speed of light. Wow, um, it's amazing the technology that's out nowadays. The careful, whether you, you the, know it or not. <laughs> that is that is a another wormhole that we're about to go down we follow oh, absolutely. that absolutely but the whole thing absolutely. is you can, you can take bits of everything and apply it to the mandela effect you can apply mm -hmm. it to simulation theory like mm -hmm. how clouds can glitch or you can experience deja vu like where you feel like you've done it in completely whole day or a sequence of in a day and the thing is you'll actually remember mm -hmm. how you did it too which is kind of funny mm -hmm. um but or you know how millions of people can remember the monopoly dude having a monocle and a cane which mm -hmm. doesn't have a monocle for mm -hmm. whatever reason or how in the movie casablanca there i'd have to look that one back up but in the movie casablanca people remember sections of the movie and statements mm -hmm. that were said in the movie that don't exist mm -hmm. or that Bernstein bears and the Bernstein bears or nope. or Shaggy um, not having an Adam's apple or yeah <laughs> just Shaggy my not having an Adam. you can't you you can explain you can explain some of this or Pikachu's tail mm -hmm. you can explain some of it like we could probably explain away like Pikachu's tail to artist interpretation over the years when the, especially when they start redoing they start remastering like older stuff to be more modern mm -hmm. so people can watch it better on modern like tvs and things mm -hmm. like that so yeah. some of the art stuff i can kind of see where some creative licensing might have altered the image over the course of a few years mm -hmm. but um like with pikachu and stuff because i've seen it with tail i can even find images where he's had black on tails and not black on tails but like mm -hmm. i said that's up to artist interpretation 
so I could probably mm-hmm. almost give that one to the internet being weird. But you have entire people that literally, like, remember, and we're not talking that people would even have used the internet. Like, old people that are in their, like, their 80s that remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Like, these With people wouldn't have had internet. internet. These people would mm-hmm. not have had access to internet at the time mm-hmm. to be able to have their ideas, like, you know, be misconstrued by false information. Mm-hmm. So you can't exactly take everything as, well, it's the internet. Some things, yes, 100%. Guaranteed, I'm sure there's some that can be explained away due to mm-hmm. this is just how it got done like or over time got whatever um the mona lisa and, one i've never seen the mona i mean i've seen images of the mona lisa but i've never been really that interested in it so i've never really looked at the mona lisa that much mm-hmm. so i couldn't tell you if her smile was more pronounced or not because i honestly have no frame of reference to mm-hmm. like build that image on i'll just mm-hmm. be like to me like i saw both of the images and not gonna lie it both looked the same to me. Like <laughs> seriously, it, it looked the same to me. Um, yeah. And I'm not. And I'm not discontinuing. I'm not discontinuing the Mandela. F- I mean, hold on. I'm just trying to look up something really fast, and I'm trying to talk, talk and type doesn't really actually work sometimes. But you know. So I, I I don't know that's here or there. Or like mirror mirror on the wall from Snow White and the um, Seven Dwarves. Mm-hmm. It was actually Magic Mirror on the wall. I remember I, Mirror Mirror. <laughs> I remember it. You remember it. And probably mm-hmm. about, there's probably about a few hundred million Disney fans that probably remember it that way, too. Exactly. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today on the Mandela Effect Part 1. Join us on the next episode, Part 2, where we finish up talking about all the crazy effects that we experience thank you for tuning in don't forget to follow and like and subscribe Uh, leave feedback if you'd like have a wonderful day shut up and sit down